Hello, my name is Michael Collins, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this beautiful grass fan arrangement. If you notice, it's um, all grass down here at the bottom, and then I placed all the flowers very delicately into the arrangement, and it turned into this beautiful modern piece. <music> Let's talk flowers. We're going to use 10 orange roses. I like the biggest, brightest roses that you can find. Um, these are really beautiful. We're going to use three dahlias. Dahlias happen to be in season right now. And you always want to use the flowers that are in season because it's, you know, it's going to, what's come in the freshest, it's going to last the longest. I'm going to use some Vidium orchids, bright yellow. I like to use bright colors because it's really going to draw the eye to the arrangement. It's going to make it a standout in the room. If you're going to give it as a gift, it's going to, if it's going to sit on the middle of your table as a centerpiece, uh, you really want it to be a standout. So, and bright colors do that. And these are some, for some interesting texture, bromeliad balls. They're really beautiful. They have like a reddish tinge to them. And this is celosia or coxcomb. We're going to use five of those in the arrangement. And last but not least, the most important thing is the bear grass. I got two bunches of bear grass. The first thing we're going to do is start by cleaning all of your flowers and not leaving any leaves or anything on the stem. This is going to make for a very clean, beautiful arrangement. And I also take off all of the thorns. You can do this with a knife if you wanted to. So it's a nice clean stem. It's much easier to work with. I also did that with the celosia or the coxcomb. The bromeliad balls. The dahlias. And the orchids, they don't have any leaves, so you can just leave them just like that. But we are going to remove them from the stem. This arrangement calls for six cymbidium heads. I always um, take the cymbidium heads off from the bottom because you can still use this stem for other things, other projects, or just put it in a vase just the way it is. And that way the stem's still nice and long for other projects. So now that I've cleaned all of the stems and they all look beautiful, I picked the most beautiful flowers out of each of the bunches, I went ahead and filled my vase with water. Now we're going to create the grass fan that's going to hold all the flowers together. Again, I take my two bunches of bear grass and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off uh, the ugly part. So I, I just kind of made them one. I kept the rubber band on. And I just removed the bottom part. It's white, it's, sometimes it's dirty, and just like that. But what we're going to remember is the bottom part is now the top part of the arrangement. So the grass fan starts here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure against the vase. We, I want it to be about two inches above the, above the height of the vase. So usually it's like about four fingers. And then I'm going to cut it one more time. Keep these ends very organized because you're going to use those as well. Just like that. And again, remember, the bottom part is now the top part of the arrangement. As you can see, it's already starting to form a fan. Again, this part of the... the actually, the top of the grass is now going to become the bottom. Just like that. There might be a few strays. You can just pull those out. And then I'm going to cut it the exact same size as the, as the other. Just like that. And if you hold it in your hand, it forms a perfect fan. Now what I'm going to do is cut a decent amount of the green bind wire. I just 
tap that on the table so you get a nice flat bottom. And then I'm going to wrap it around twice. And then you have to pull it very, 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 very tight because you do not want all of your grass to fall out. Spin it around a few times. Always twist, never tie. There you have it, just like that. And that's gonna be your, your grass fan for the arrangement. So you can just drop that right into the vase, just like this. And then you're gonna just take your hands and fan it out, just like this. Now we're gonna start placing all of our flowers into the, into the grass fan. First of all, I always start with the least expensive flower or the one that you have the most of. In this case, it's going to be the roses. So the reason that I do that is because as you get to your most favorite flower or the most expensive flower, which is gonna be the dahlia, you're, you, when you layer it on top, you want those to be the focal point because you know, it's the most expensive one. It's the showpiece of the arrangement. So I end with that. So you can put it exactly where you want it to. So first I'm gonna start off with the roses. So what I do is I measure against the vase because you want it to go into the grass fan and it needs to touch water, but you do not want it to go all the way into the grass fan because the grass is tighter down here and it actually it won't even allow you to do that. So. It's going to be about just like that. If you can see, the stem is going to go right into water and into the vase. And then you just place it right into the grass fan, deep enough so you don't see the stem on the outside. And then I continue to, to do this all through the grass fan. Now remember, turn your arrangement and look at it from all sides because you want it to look beautiful all the way around. very easy to do because the grass actually tells you exactly how to guide it into the arrangement. Just like that. Remember, always spin it around. Do you see how nice and beautiful that is? It's very modern, very cool yet still very beautiful. Next is gonna be the celosia. I chose the celosia because of the texture. It's really beautiful and has a velvet shape. It's also, it's fall time right now, so it's also, um, you know, it, it's beautiful in the fall. Again, I'm going to stick it. And remember, you always have to think about where you're gonna place it. Now I'm gonna start grouping things. When things, um, things are like more powerful when you start to group them, they um, have more impactful. Always think the entire time that you're designing because that's really what makes a designer um, they think about the arrangement the entire time. Every single flower, I, I've made these lots of times, so it's you know very easy for me to drop the flowers right into the fan, but just think about it. Where do you want it to go? Where do you want to create? And if you think about it, it's really gonna turn out beautiful. When you, you can tell when somebody makes something, makes your sandwich at the deli, if they put time and effort into it, you can tell by the way it looks and by the way it tastes. And that's the same thing with flower arrangements. If you really take the time to care about the arrangement, it's really gonna turn out beautiful for you. The next thing we're gonna do is add the yellow cymbidiums. Remember, I took them off the stem and I always just pull, like just lightly touch the petals so they open up as big as they can get because you wanna get a lot of show out of them. And then I'm gonna take the water tube. I filled them with water 
just like that. You can run them under the sink and then you put the little cap on. It's very easy. Just like that. And then you press the, the bottom of the stem right into there. And then it will go all the way to the center, just like that. And I'm gonna do that to every single one of my cymbidiums. I happen to break that one. Just like that. I also like to work in a monochromatic color scheme, which means all colors from the same family. So th these are two colors, yellow and the orange, but the yellow and orange are in the same family because the yellow and um, you use yellow to make orange. So there's a lot of yellow in, an or in orange already as a color. Just like that. And if you and the rose stems that we used before that we cut we cut the rose heads off, these actually go right into here. You can actually buy a stem that will fit right in to the bottom of the water picks, but this is free. So, you know, that's what I, I always use this. And also the, the stems tend to change the the ones that you can buy tend to change the water colors. So I really suggest that you just use the bottom of another stem. And then you're gonna place these very carefully into your flower arrangement. Again, always spinning, always looking around to where, where it needs it. I'm gonna work in groupings as well. You want the arrangement to have a lot of movement. And when I mean movement, I don't mean it actually moving, like your eye wants to like look all over and discover each of the beautiful flowers. As you can see, it's really shaping up beautifully. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of texture with these bromeliad balls. Everything's shaping up nice. Now the very last, the little, the very little kiss of the, the last ending thing, or which one of my favorite flowers, these are dahlias. And I'm gonna place those exactly where you want them because these are the showpiece of the arrangement. It's okay if they overlap a little bit of the, of the roses or the cymbidiums. There we have it. We have this beautiful grass fan arrangement. Uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Michael Collins, and if you like this, stay tuned for more videos. Mm -hmm.